Okay, today I've been mostly degreasing the motor, working my ass off doing that. Mostly been little screwdrivers. I had a wood chisel, but it kind of went missing. One issue that I had was the transmission warmer, which was located right there on the motor, was now useless to me. So I used all the existing tubing, clamps, bends, and I rerouted it in a spot where I could still change the oil filter. And, uh, just re-looped it back to itself. I had my friend Daz, uh, my aunt's boyfriend, come over and tell me what wires did everything on this. And after we were finished going through labeling the whole thing, he told me the only wire that's important is the blue one, which I knew that. It's the one that turns the fuel sensor on and off. But here we have uh, fuel temp pressure, oil pressure, the uh, actual thermostats way at the back, uh, water and fuel, but like I said, only one of them matters. Just cleaning the motor up. I'm um, going to try to figure out how to mount the clutch in the gas pedal because this is my old gas pedal and that will not work now. And my clutch is actually that one right there and that will not work now either. So we are going to Figure out a way how to mount these differently. Gas pedal will probably be the first one I do. I'm going to use the stock one out of the Dodge. Just clean it up. I'm going to also try to do the power steering in this maybe later on today. Alright. I spent most of the night cleaning the motor and the firewall. I'm probably going to paint them just black. Um, I did adapt the clutch out of the 93 Ford to fit in my 73 Ford. I had to notch a little hole for my old choke cable. Now this choke cable I'm going to use for my emergency shut off on the side of my pump. Just in case anything ever happens I can just turn it off from inside the truck. If I have a runaway and I turn off the key and it keeps going, emergency use shut off. That's what I'm going to use that for. I ended up uh, adapting the gas pedal assembly. I ended up using my Ford pedal and the Dodge mechanism. I had to heat it up and bend it a bit. Um, inside there. I'm just about to start tearing apart the power steering now. Um, the motor cleaned up really really nicely. Um, still quite a bit more to clean up on it but it's coming along. Just kind of uh, trying to figure out what, uh, what's going on and what's next out here and just basically trying to do everything I think that needs to be done before the parts get here for the adapter plate and the clutch assembly. I can maybe tomorrow start on my transfer case mount because the new transmission doesn't have the mounts like the old one did to mount the transfer case mounts onto it. It doesn't even have a spot for a speedo believe it or not. So I don't completely know what I'm going to be doing for speedo on this yet. I might have to look on the internet tonight and see what the 93's used. Now this was a two wheel drive truck and this was a two wheel drive transmission and it had no transfer case so I'm not too sure where the speedo is. So I'm going to call around and do some research tonight and find out on that. Um, the adapter plate that's off the old one it's garbage to me. Um, the pedals, the gas pedal goes way in there now. I might, in years to come, to ex extend that. Uh, the huge hole in the floor for the new transmission to go in. Just clean it up, look at all the gunk on the ground from the motor. The motor actually has a navy blue paint job to it. It's got 108,000 kilometers on it, but... I think it's been rebuilt in the past couple years. I bet you she's only got like 150, maybe 200 on it. From the way it runs and the amount of blow-by, which is zero, I'd assume it's a fairly recent rebuild. The clutch lines actually go right down along the flame frame beautifully. But, all right, guys, thanks for another day. Today I did a whole bunch of textured paint on the firewall and along the frame, but I'm going to have to grind a couple of it off for the new motor mounts coming. But the main thing I did today was my power steering. Um, I actually had to cut a little bit of the frame out. I turned it upside down and welded it back in. I put uh, four 916 holes right through the frame to catch the back of the 
this power steering and I welded a plate in there the structural to make it safer and more stronger I didn't really want to cut it out and leave it like that and then I cut the two shafts removed about a six inch piece and joined that and then I cut that and put another about eight inch piece and welded that fully on both sides now that's about a quarter inch thick plenty safe and uh, I got my power steering box in there now so maybe she'll be a little bit easier to back up with the trailer this spring but uh, still going motor still in the ground all cleaned up so just have to wait for the adapter kit see you guys later